to another Way Game training video. Uh, I'd like to begin first with a shout out to my former students, the class of 2012-2013. Uh, you're featured in this video and also to the Calgary Separate School District, my former employer for 33 years. Thanks for the memories. Uh, here's a picture of yours truly starting a new way game by choosing the mystery kid. I used to I used to walk up and down the aisles, have the kids put their head on the desk and I tap them on their shoulder. That would indicate that they had been selected the mystery kid. Here's another way you can choose the mystery kid from a deck of way cards. What you would do is select out a single card and they'll be the mystery kid. That card will go back in the deck and at this time you choose three judges. So the first or the next three cards you flip up will be the judges. So here we have one of the judges uh, picking their role. So we have three kinds of judges, the smart board judge, the cardboard judge, and the discipline judge. Smart board judge manages the smart board, cardboard judge manages all of the cards and cardboard and the discipline judge is like the class cop. All judges roles are coveted by students. They love to be the judges. So what you do with the rest of the deck is to deal them face down into two teams. Flip up the top card on each one and they're going to be the team captains. The cards immediately following the team captains will be the assistant captains. We see our captain and assistant captain here and uh, ironically the captain's shirt reads, you can't see it, but Friday makes me happy. Friday afternoons was the day that we played a full round of the way game. Anyways what we see here are the selecting of the team. So the team captains reading out the team names to the players uh, for each team and the assistant captain writes them down and that'll be housed in the captain's binder along with the captain's role sheet and a pathfinder sheet to mark in their clues that they win. So here we have a look inside the captain's binder. It contains all of the team members and the pathfinder sheets to record your clues. And, and one of the great things here is you never know who you're going to play with or who you're going to play against. And teammates change on each game, which adds a real sense of mystery to the game. And it's up to the teacher if they want to have the teams come up with team names, or you can just name them the color of the place cards, which will make it a lot simpler for the judges. So here we have a place card. It's actually an older design. We simplified it to one row so you would put the games that you see, the draw it, spell it and so on just on top of the, uh, the team members game. So this is one of the roles of the cardboard judge to organize to deal out the way cards into the seven slots for the seven games and then also deal out uh, the seven games and have them face down. You'll notice which character. The ones that are flipped up are um, they've already played and we're just about to play the second game here. Cardboards is not mandatory. The way game was invented before the invention of, of smart boards so all of all what you need is, is just on, on paper. So our class got out the, the white boards and, and used them as screens as playing material. So you can use a lot of traditional material to play the way game. So tools you see here on, on the smart board have been changed just because uh, they've moved away from flash based material to HTML5. And here we have the judges scoring and covering either the left or right team. So if two teams are playing, you've got the right team and a left team, or you've got a team that went first or second. And that's one way the judges score. The winning captain gets a clue from a set of Pathfinder clues and enters it on the 
Pathfinder sheet and the teacher will enter in the clue from the student's Pathfinder sheet uh, at a later date. It's then look at the collection of these clues and, and try and guess the secret identity of the mystery kid. And here we have teams gathering, looking at all the clues they won. They have to come up with the identity. If they make a guess and guess wrong, the other team receives four clues from Pathfinder as a bonus. Here we have a, a shot of the mystery kid being revealed. When the team captain hands in the Pathfinder sheet, it has to be written on the top of the sheet to be official. Away cards have many uses too. Uh, at this point, at the end of the game, you want the students to write on the uh, card if they were the mystery kid, judge, captain, or a player, so we don't have any kind of repetition next time. The teacher prepares the nine prizes of the away game, uh, puts his initial and dates each prize. And here's just how they're distributed. One to the mystery kid, one to the judge, one to each team captain, one to the losing team, and four to the remaining players on the winning team. And here we see my rock star kids getting their prizes. They were really great. They love this game and um, they love to create it. And teachers can customize prizes as they want. Uh, they don't have to use the, the ones here. Here we see best chair for the day and choose and give a reward. Another popular prize was add 10% to any assignment. So adds a little motivation into the, uh, into the game. And the kids love it.